What is up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to install the Z1 Motorsports Big Brake Kit on the Infiniti Q50 and Q60. As you can see we got the four rotors, the four calipers, some fluid, uh, I believe some banjo bolts, the pads, and some of these brackets as well. Alright and the very first step we're going to do is go ahead and raise the car up and take off all four wheels. So, alright so we got the whole car on the jack stands and we're going to start off over here. And the first thing you gotta take off is this little clip right here. All you right, do is get a flathead, click right here to get some leverage. Kind of just pry it up like that. All right, and the clip is out. And now we're gonna remove this bolt right here and that bolt right down here. I believe these are size 19s. I'm gonna double check real quick. All right, so I'm actually not sure, but I'm gonna use a size uh, 7 8. I'm gonna break those bolts loose. All right, and these bolts weren't too difficult to loosen, but you kind of got to use some force, but I finally got them loose. All right, and once the caliper's off, I went ahead and just zip tied it up here, just so kind of out of the way. Make sure there's not too much stress on that brake line. And now we can go ahead and remove the rotor. Now to remove this rotor, if, it, if it's too hard to come off, you just grab yourself a mallet and hit it from the side and it should pop right off. All right, so we got the old rotor off. It was kind of difficult. Um, so I recommend using a mallet or a hammer and just hitting it on the sides and the front and the back until it pops off. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and bend this lip, as you can see right here, I'm gonna bend it up. And then once that's bent up, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some brake cleaner and clean all of this with a, with a wire brush. All right, and this is how it looks when you bend it back, but you can also cut it with a tin snips or a cutoff wheel. All right, and the new rotors are on. I put some lug nuts on it so we can test if it rubs. And there is no rubbing. As you can see, I had to bend it a little bit more back here and a little bit right here because it was rubbing, but now there's no more rubbing. All right, and once the new rotors are on, I'm gonna go ahead and just put these two bolts back in with the caliper. And then we did a little test fit with the tire to make sure it fits and there is no rubbing at all. All right, guys, so this is the part of the video where I kind of explained that I kind of forgot to record the entire process. Uh, I kind of got all of it installed and set up, but I'm gonna just do a quick little walkthrough and explaining what I did and how to do it. All right, so after you get the, the two bolts installed for your caliper, which as you can see is one right here and one down there, you're gonna then focus on the brake line, which is right here. All right, so basically it's going to be the copper washer first you get focus okay copper washer the brake line then another copper washer and then the actual bolt now the new bolt is going to be a 14 mil and the old one's going to be a 12 millimeter <clears throat> and just make sure when if you have a non red sport model the banjo bolts are not going to fit the new big brake kits you have to order a new banjo bolt um, you can order from z1 motorsports they're a lot shorter but they're going to fit properly all right, so what you're going to do, what I did was I had the box right here. And I put the old brake caliper on it with the brake line on top. So just carefully remove it and then try to be quick, but keep the holding it. Keep holding the brake line up so it's not leaking too much fluid. And you're going to screw it in right through here. Like I said, copper, then the brake line, another copper washer, and then the bolt. And then just make sure when you do that, you're putting the brake line back where it was and you're clipping this back in on the actual brake line there's going to be a little triangle arrow just match that with the actual uh, bracket right here and it should all fit you might have to knock this down but it should all fit all right and for the actual pads what you're going to do is slide the pads in this little rod which you can't really see but this little rod right here you're going to slide in from the back through here behind this little clip right here all the way through and then you're going to grab this little uh i forgot what this is called but this is gonna slide right in to kind of hold it in place so it doesn't slide out. And the same thing for the bottom right here. And also just make sure to uh, grease the back of the uh, brake pad where the metal shim is. Put a little bit of grease and then before you put it in. But yeah, as you can see, that's for the front. And then over here, the rear, it's the same thing. Uh, same logic, it's the same thing. The little rod goes through behind that, through here, and the little pin slides in. So it should be the same all the way around, and uh, it's a pretty simple install. Now for the rear, I forgot to mention, the uh, 
the dust shield's a lot longer. So what I did was I kind of made some cuts all the way through and it bent each tab up. I didn't really feel like trimming the whole thing. So this is kind of like just what I did, but you can remove it, trim it, do this. As long as it's out of the way for the rotor, that's all that matters. And for the rear brake line, you don't have to undo this piece. You can just leave it as is, but it's all the same logic as the front. All right, and now once everything is done, we're gonna start off with bleeding the brakes. Now for these, as you can see, there is two uh, bleeder valves. So there's one right here and there's one right here. You're always gonna wanna start off with the inlet one, which is right here, and then do this one. All right, so today we're doing the two person method for bleeding the brakes. As you can see, this is your, where your master uh, cylinder is. And generally when you're doing it, you wanna start off with the furthest caliper from here. So since mine's located on the driver's side, we are gonna start off with the rear passenger side, then move on to the driver passenger side. I mean the driver rear side, and then the passenger front side. And then we're gonna move over to the driver front. So the general idea when you do it, you wanna have some kind of plastic clear tubing so you can see the fluid attached to here. And you're gonna have like, I think it's like a 10 millimeter wrench on here. You're gonna open and close, open and close, right? So the idea is someone in the car is actually gonna be pressing the brake, building up pressure, and they're gonna hold it. As they're holding it, you're gonna open and then close. And then they're gonna release it. And the same thing, they're gonna keep doing that until you see nothing but clear fluid, no more air bubbles. As long as it's clear fluid coming out, then you're all good. And again, like I said, you wanna start off with the in one first and then the out one and then just back and forth all the way around. And also it's very important that as you're doing this, you are double checking your master cylinder right here and making sure there is always fluid. You don't wanna be doing this and you run out of fluid because then you're gonna have to bleed the entire system. So make sure after each one, you just come back here and double check. And if you're running low, just go and top it off and keep going. All right guys, so we just finished up bleeding the whole system. And now we're just putting all the tires back on as you can see. I was gonna put that one back on, but that is pretty much it for the whole Z1 uh, big brake kit install. The only thing I do now is properly bed in the new pads, which I'm not 100% sure. So I'll post a screenshot right here to show how to do it. Uh, I think Z1 Motorsports actually has a proper uh, bed in procedure. But yeah, that's everything guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments and uh, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.